And to continue my video, 24, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Terry Gilliam. And, you know, like, Hunter S. Thompson, like, had nothing but, like, good things to say about Johnny Depp's performance in this film. Even though he didn't really like Peter Boyle's performance of, of portrayal of him in We're the Buffalo Rome. But this, but although We're Buffalo Rome is a really good film in itself, this film is probably the greatest adaptation of Hunter S. Thompson. It's just... A brilliant fucking book, brilliant movie, great Criterion edition, fantastic. And uh, next up we got Robert Altman's Nashville. And this was the other ensemble film I was talking about in, pre in the earlier video. And yeah, this film is just an absolute amazing 70s, 70s classic, Robert Altman classic about the country western scene in uh in Nashville, it's it basically revolves around a country music festival, and all the fucking like characters within the festival and characters in the movie are either travelers or musicians, and it's really it's a really really great film. Amazing dialogue, free verse dialogue, like as like that weird Robert Altman free verse jazz like style with his dialogue. It's it's really fun to watch. Nashville is a great film, and this is also getting a Criterion edition, which is amazing to know I've been waiting for that for a long time I've always thought this would make a great criterion Robert Altman's Nashville we got This is Spinal Tap directed by Rob Reiner one of my favorite all time comedies and this movie makes me laugh my ass off every time I watch it love the music Un unforgettable film eminently rewatchable Quotable to like, like, quotable to the fucking cows come home. It's fucking amazing. I love this movie so much. Michael McKeon, Christopher Guest, and Harry Shearer are all comic gods to me after this film. Love it. We got The Breakfast Club, John Hughes. My favorite John Hughes movie next to Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This movie just hits home with me every time. Gets me going every time. Judd Nelson is a true legend. I just think he just nailed it. It's a shame he didn't get a better career after this movie. But nevertheless, a home run. We got Peter Bogdanovich's They All Laughed. A fantastic movie. One of the best romantic comedies ever made. Filmed in New York. The whole thing was shot in New York. One of my favorite cities. Love this movie. One of my favorite New York movies. Half the people in this movie are dead, by the way, which is a real shock. Ben Gazzara, dead. Audrey Hepburn, dead. John Ritter, dead. Dorothy Stratton, dead. It's fucking nuts. Like, the, the body count in this film is insane, but, like, it's such a beautiful film. Hilarious. So enjoyable. You gotta love this movie. They all laugh. Laughed. And last but not least, number 30, Gus Van Zandt's Good Will Hunting. One of my favorite films of all time. Same could be said for uh, Smallville could say the same thing. He loved, We quote this movie endlessly together. It's one of my favorite. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Robin Williams, you name it. It's just a beautiful gem of a film. Endlessly quotable. You know, it's, I love this movie to death. It's, I love, love everything about this movie. And that was my top 30 films of all time. But before I, I finish this video, another honorable mention that I forgot to do. Another honorable mention, I gotta give it up for uh, Kenji Fukasaku's Battle Royale. Another brilliant Japanese film, which kind of was inspired the whole story behind the Hunger Games, even though they were novels originally, but like a lot of stuff from those novels were taken from this movie, I think. And because uh, I think the novels were written after this movie was made. But yeah, this movie is just a total fucking bloodbath. It's shockingly amazing. The story is just so gut wrenchingly, like, insane and it's like it's one of the most violent films ever made it's and you can't take your fucking eyes off it battle royale a modern day masterpiece and that would do it for my top favorite films of all time uh it's been fun i'm heisenberg uh hope you comment thank you for watching and keep on collecting people